Hello everybody, Silas back today and we're getting ready to bring the crusher into the junkyard. I've been talking about it and I've been talking about it and I've been talking about it, but it is finally time. Very soon, in the very near future, the crusher is going to be here at my place out here at the ranch, at the junkyard, whatever you want to call it. We're going to bring it in here. We're going to make some room. I hope to crush around three to 400 cars. I'm not sure what all is going to get crushed yet. We're just going to start and see how it goes. For sure, we're going to eliminate the great big piles of cars that are out back, the, the later model stuff. But after I get done with those, I'm not sure what I'm going to go to next. I don't have very long to keep the crusher. That's the only issue because we're taking the crusher out of one of my dad's yards and bringing it into here. So as long as the crusher's here, he won't be able to crush cars over there. And I know he's going to get anxious because he really likes to crush cars. So it's gotta, I've got to get it in here and get it gone as quick as possible. So what we're going to be doing over the next few days in this video right here is we're going to be making room to get the crusher in here. This part of the journey will be easy. We just bring the crusher right through the gate bring it down this driveway right here. Then we'll take it down here, loop it around this corner. They are coming to pick that dumpster up on Tuesday, I believe, so it will be gone and out of the way. To get it out of here, I have to move one truck there. Then I have two antique trucks around the corner and my trailer are in the way, and they'll be able to get it out of the way. I've got this huge pile of cars here that we'll be crushing out first. I need to move this vehicle. That's just gonna be a crusher. I need to move that truck, both of the VWs. I need to move this bus. And then I need to move all of these air compressors, that concrete mixer. There's some more vehicles mixed in back here. But the plan is, is I want to bring the crusher in, circle it in right here off of the driveway, kind of in that little spot right there. Then that way the opening of the crusher will be facing out towards where that GMC flatbed is. But if I put the engine of the crusher about where that international is, the opening of the crusher will be right where that yellow air compressor is. And so I'll have to have this path right here open. And so I think that'll give me plenty of room I won't have to move my burn ring over there, which is good because I've burned a lot of 2x4s in there that had nails, and so I'm sure there's a lot of nails on the ground right there. But I'll have this area right here that I can drive the loader in, back back out, all that. This area right here, all of this has to go. These trucks over here have to go, the box van has to go, all of this stuff has to go because I want to have room to put bundles in this area, that way I can load the trucks right here. Now I saved these from a farm cleanup a long time ago, you guys may remember, and I thought, you know what, people might want parts off of these because I know that most of these are 455s, but the only thing I sold was I sold the heads and intake off of this little Buick engine here, and that's all I've sold off of these. So I'm going to go ahead and advertise them one more time, and if they haven't sold by the time I get the crusher in here, I'm going to go ahead and shove all these in cars and make them go away. I've got this over here, we just pulled the uh, cab and a bunch of other stuff off of these yesterday. The engines are ready to lift off. We were just going to go ahead and scrap this engine, but believe it or not, it still turns and the block is not cracked. And finding a V8 flathead that isn't cracked and still turns is kind of hard. So we're going to go ahead and save that. That's a 235 that still turns. So we're going to pull those off. I'm going to cut the bed off of this and use it for a platform to store stuff on top of to keep it out of the dirt. So anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get busy working.
Yesterday, I didn't talk to the camera one time. We were just out here working and working and working. We got quite a bit done. We got a bunch of stuff cleared out of this area here. I actually just sold that 292 four barrel that was sitting here. That left went to a new home. These 455s, I've had them advertised now for a little over a week. And I'll leave them advertised for probably one more week. And then as soon as the crusher gets here, I'll uh, go ahead and just bring a car up here, smash the roof in and stack all them on there. Crush them all into one bundle. That'll make it nice and heavy. I do have a guy interested in the transmissions. I think there's, well, there's three transmissions. This one has a hole in it. I don't know if he'll be interested or not, but uh, he'll probably still buy all three of those. So my goal for today is to go ahead and get the rest of this stuff here moved. I won't get everything in this area moved, but I do want to go ahead and get the back half of that car there moved. Probably both of those old trucks, get those out of the way. The box fan, I'll probably wait till next week or something like that on it, because I just want to go ahead and process it. I don't want to move it 30 times. I'll go up back and show you what I got done out there here in just a minute. But first, this truck just came in. This is a 1963, I believe, Chevy. Just a six cylinder truck. Nothing special, but it's pretty straight. It's got one dent in the bed on the other side, and then it's got some rust in it, but they all have rust in them. It's kind of rusty above the windshield, but it's not as bad as some of them are. It's pretty solid on the outside still, at least. So it would need repair on the inside. It does have the factory radio in it. That's kind of cool, but been sitting out in the field for a long time. The floors are actually still solid. The floors in the cab, even the wood floor in this bed is still pretty solid. So that's kind of unusual. Check out the uh, bumper on it. Kearns Chevy Company, Booker, Texas. Still has the dealership bumper on the back of it and it's not all bangled up either. So yeah, I think I'll find a home for this one here. If not, we'll part it out later, but I'm pretty sure somebody will just buy this whole truck. And then also next week, they are coming to set off a dumpster for aluminum breakage. I've got this truck bed here is full, a bunch of stuff through here. That trailer over there is full of breakage. And then I've got, I don't know, probably five or six more truck beds full of breakage sitting around out here. So I can get rid of all that, make some room. 
I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I actually found a home for all these. The guy's coming to pick them up tomorrow. I didn't get as much as I wanted for them. I pretty much donated my time to pull them out of there. I spent a whole day saving these things. And uh, for what I sold them for, I think I made about, well, I sold some of them beforehand a couple weeks ago. And I think I got 50 or 60 bucks out of those. And I think I got 100 bucks out of the rest of these. So I made 150 bucks for a day's work. And I don't know how many Sawzall blades. So I guess I could have done worse, but I was hoping to do a whole lot better. But at least they got saved and they didn't get sent to the landfill. If possible, I plan on getting rid of a bunch of tractors. I don't know. We'll see how time goes. Like I say, I'm not going to have the crusher for a whole long time. I'm going to have it for basically a month. And so whatever I get done, I get done. I for sure want to get rid of the cars. And then this other stuff like these compressors are just a bonus. Now that one there is ready to go. I just got to pull the wheels off of it. And then the other one we did is out back ready to go. But my number one objective is to get rid of about 350, 400 cars. And then if I still have time, I'll go ahead and process a bunch of tractors and air compressors and things like that. And here we go. I just got to come through here a little bit, gather up all this trash and junk that's laying around, get it all gone. Originally, I was going to clean these out too, and then I was going to have them circle the crusher in here. But I thought, that's just a lot of extra work when I can just have them pull forward and then back the crusher in. And they'll kind of back it in to where the... Uh, opening of the crusher is right about here that way I can drive in and I'll have all this open right here I'll go ahead and move all this stuff over here that bed will be gone this road will be wide open so I'll have plenty of room to operate right here but yeah we're pretty much ready they can bring the crusher in at any point in time after today I'm gonna have to uh, they're coming to get that dumpster so I got to move my trailer real quick and then after that I'm gonna come over here and pick up all this junk and then at that point in time uh, we're ready to go so once again that's enough talking let's get to work There we go, the dumpster is gone. There has been a dumpster sitting here in this area for, well, out here at this location anyway, for the last probably two years, two and a half years maybe even. So for that to be gone, it's kind of unusual. But now this is wide open, so I can go ahead and go up here and I can grab that Ford truck that came in earlier, sit it back here out of the way, and then I picked up all that junk that was laying over here on the ground by that, that mangled Dodge truck. I can sit it back here out of the way. I'm not sure what day the crusher is actually coming next week. And so if I come out here Monday or Tuesday or whatever and the crusher doesn't come in yet, I can go ahead and keep processing stuff and stacking it over here. The step van, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. It's just junk. It's super rusty and it, it doesn't, it's not a water resistant. I guess just to say it leaks. So I'm just going to scrap it, but it's way too long to fit in the crusher. I can either fold it up and make it fit in the crusher or I can just try to ship it to one of the other places. It's less money that way though. So uh, I'll see if it folds. If it folds fairly easy and I can get it in a dumpster, it's worth quite a bit more. I'll for sure be saving the emblems off of it though and probably the gauges out of it, maybe a few other things. The old tank, we'll be making a crushing video out of that. Uh, some of the stuff back here, I'm gonna crush. Some of the stuff like that planer and this uh, old mixer here are too heavy to crush in a car. I'll get in trouble for that. So I'll set those at the back of the trailer by themselves. That way there's loose and they can grab them and throw them in their shear pile. And in fact, probably most of this stuff here I will use for filler at the back of the trailers because I can't quite get three bundles in a row inside those trailers. I always have about 10 feet left over at the back. And so with this stuff here, I can stack a bunch of this stuff in a truck bed, load the trailer like normal, and then dump the truck bed out in the back of the trailer and good to go. It's always a fine balance of how much weight do you put in there. You put too much and they get upset. You put too little and they get upset. So I don't know. I've kind of got it down now pretty good, but a lot of these cars out here, especially back there 
there in the pile are stuffed full of junk so I'll just have to be a little bit careful how much weight I put in there. A lot of this stuff would have been way easier just to throw in that dumpster. I could have had them bring the dumpster back one more time but man at $40 a ton difference that stuff adds up pretty quick. Now if it was $10, $15 a ton I wouldn't even think of it. I would have just thrown it in the dumpster but at $40 a ton difference it's definitely worth the extra effort. So we got that done just in time. The rain's starting to come down now. So with that that is going to complete this video here. I'll just go ahead and put it on time lapse after I close this out that way you guys can see me move the last few things around but outside of that i will see you guys again probably the next video i'll be making is about the crusher showing up right here and as always i hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day remember to get out there find an adventure we'll see you next time